At this point, Jurassic World Evolution 2 has over 110 different species, so it just makes sense for some of them to go under the radar of most people. So in this video I will show you 5 of the most underrated species in my opinion you should consider more often when choosing species for your sandbox parks. So let's start off this list in no particular order. Starting off the list we have one of the most underrated Ceratopsians but also one of my favorite ones in this game. So if there's one main species I want you guys to take away from this video it's probably the Taurosaurus because I personally really like Ceratopsians and I'm so sad about the fact that the Taurosaurus is always just in the shadow of the Triceratops when it comes to this game and most people use the Triceratops instead even though in my opinion uh, the Taurosaurus is literally a better version of the Triceratops in this when it comes to this game because uh, the skins in my opinion are just way much way better it doesn't look as fat you know it uh, i think the body looks a lot better it has like also these cool osteoderms which i think look quite nice and i think just in general it's a better version of the triceratops because it's not as huge as well and just it feels more like what i would feel like a ceratopsian actually is and that's like a majestic creature with like these awesome frill designs so uh, let's go through some of the skins i actually think the skins are pretty good you know for example you can do something like this right here and have a nice pattern on here um, with these circles i think the circular pattern is really nice and then you also have some uh, color right here on those sort of trims around it and i think you can make some pretty cool looking skins like that and for example this i think also looks nice but then you can also use this pattern which i really like and then of course the rana pattern also is really good so i think the scans are quite nice and i think you should use this species more for sure and especially instead of the triceratops because it literally just looks better has better skins it's just better in every single way in my opinion and i love it next up we have the first dlc creature on our list the australovenator an incredible carnivore you should use more and i'm gonna tell you why So I think it's kind of sad that this species gets forgotten about in my opinion when it comes to species from the late Cretaceous pack a bit and I also have another species from uh, that DLC on here uh, and I also think that in this size category that it's in like sort of the small uh, carnivores we have a lot of species and I think that you should really pay attention more to this one right here because I think uh, it being even bigger than the uh, normal like Velociraptor for example makes it better because uh, the fences in the game are so tall so the fences look a bit better for this species and then also the skins are really really nice in my opinion like you can do something really colorful like this or something colorful like this but I also especially really like these two skin patterns for example where you can make something more toned down or something a little bit more toned down but still colorful and for example you can do like a female skin and a male skin uh, really easily uh, and achieve sexual dimorphism like that uh, for your species but you can also as well you know make really bright and striking skins so I just think that the skins of this species are really nice I think the model is pretty good it has um, I think a good size and you should, uh, in my opinion, you know, you if you have the DLC, use it more. And, you know, instead of using something like the Velociraptors or the Herarosaurus uh, for the however many a time that you're using them. And also the goat kill animation for this one is quite cool because it like stabs the goat with uh, one of its big claws right here because it's a Mega Raptorian after all. Next up we have the Ankylodocus, the only hybrid in this game in my opinion that can be used to really represent a different species and some kind of different armored herbivore, but the release animation is kind of long so let's skip most of it right here. And quite surprisingly we have right here the Ankylodocus, actually a species from the hybrid DLC and you may be thinking why does he think this is underrated, I thought he didn't like the hybrids and the hybrid DLC, which I don't, but I think that the Ankylodocus is a bit of an exception right here because you can really just pretend that it's something like a Shunosaurus for example, like uh, for example the spikes on the back don't really look too much like the really weird and armored Ankylodocus. Uh, not the Ankylodocus, the Ankylosaurus just from Jurassic World so and it also has this uh, tail club so it can look uh, you can just pretend that this is a Shunosaurus and I think it works quite well for that and I think it's kind of sad that the Spinoraptor gets all of the attention from this pack so I would like people to appreciate the Ankylodocus more because I really think that this is a pretty good pretty solid species no it's not like one of the best species in the game or like really really good it's just pretty solid 
um, but I think, you know, as a stand-in for Shunosaurus, for example, it can be quite nice, and I think it should be overshadowed by the Spinoraptor, because this one, I think, looks less like a hybrid, in my opinion, and you can still probably use it, again, to represent another sauropod in your park. Next up we have the Majungasaurus, probably one of my favorite medium carnivores in this game, but I think it's quite underrated. And along with the Taurosaurus, probably one of the most criminally underrated species in this game, in my opinion, or from what I've heard from the community, is the Majungasaurus. And I've just heard many people say that they kind of forget about it, they don't really find that interesting, or that, uh, you know, they think that the other species are better. But, I ha but if you really look at it and uh, just look at the species, you will realize that this is a really unique species in the game. It's one of the only two Abelosaurs we have in the game, which are basically these uh, carnivores that have really, really tiny arms and that are like sort of have like a longer body maybe and you know a sort of built like this and the Carnotaurus also falls into that but I think that this Majongosaurus more represents uh, the actual uniqueness of a Bellisaurus and yeah I just have to say that this Majongosaurus looks really good actually and that's kind of sad that uh, many people just seem to forget about it and seem to think it's not that good even though I think it really is. It also has nice skins. So you have this really cool eye thing, which I think fits really well. Uh, fits really well for it because it's like a species from Madagascar. So I think this sort of eye coloring just looks cool on it. And then it has like this sort of fiery pattern uh, at the back. It has these spikes. And generally, this species is also pretty. It looks really good. It doesn't really have many flaws. Uh, the only flaws are like that it bends its arms and maybe the fact that it doesn't have lips. But you know, we don't even know if dinosaurs actually had lips. It's just like an, an assumption, but we are not sure, of course, because we haven't found any real dinosaurs. And then also this skin looks really cool, for example, and this right here. So I think that just the Majongo source is way too underrated, in my opinion, and people should use it way more in their parks. And really, you can build nice habitats for it, I think, nice uh, sort of tropical habitats, and it really belongs, in my opinion, in every tropical park or tropical section in any other park. And now the last species on today's list, and that is the Uranosaurus, specifically the frontal version and not the 2015 Camp Cretaceous one. Now coming in with the Uranosaurus, and I'm talking specifically about the frontier version and not the Camp Cretaceous one right here. And I just think that the Uranosaurus gets underrated by so many people. It was probably not that uh, that good in the first game because the skin texture wasn't really that good. I think it's a bit better in this game. Uh, but what I think makes the Uranosaurus just special in a way is the beak that it has and also the skin being like a bit weird, maybe a bit like moist looking. I think it fits really well into the swamp and can be one of the best herbivores to put into swamp habitats like I've previously done, for example, putting it in a habitat with the Dinochirus and I think that works really, really well. Um, just what I think holds it back, in my opinion, the most are these skins. The skins are just not good. Like, you really just have these pa uh, skin patterns, these base skin patterns that I think look quite okay, you know? But the patterns themselves aren't really good, you know? I think the blank pattern is going to be your friend most of the time, the best choice. Because, like, this one it's just, it just doesn't really add that much, like, these sort of cow spots. Then you have, like, the different variations of it, but I st uh, still think that these don't look that good. Maybe this one does because it's really sub subtle. Um, but yeah, you have some good base skin colors already, so you can just do that with the blank pattern. And that already looks good, and I think the Uranosaurus is really cool. And it's just sort of a, you know, toss-in basic uh, hadrosaur that it's not really too flashy, with like some kind of fresh, flashy crest, like an Edmontosaurus or an Allure Titan, for example. But it's just, you know, a pretty basic hadrosaur. So this was a pretty different type of video, but I hope you guys enjoyed and enjoyed sort of this just talking about species in the game. If you want to maybe see other like videos about species in this game, like maybe my favorite species, uh, comment that down below. And also if you want to see more underrated species or you have uh, some species that you think are pretty underrated, comment them down below as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.